The current administration led by Mayor Monico Pantavella is vocal for their push for education. Through the Public Employment and Services Office, or PESO, the agency streamlines in the dissemination of scholarship programs to poor but deserving students by giving them a chance for a better future. 20-year-old Roland Leonilio is among the many scholars of the city government who was able to pass the screening process of PESO and became a standout of the Bacalod City College. An academic standout since high school, Roland graduated cum laude in elementary education but his passion to teach came as an accident. So una, I dreamed to be an engineer. But ang akong sister, mugin sa nagpa-inspire sa akin. Through her perseverance, kag iya aspiration sa life, na learn ko nga someday, I wanna be like her and to be a teacher. Roland's achievement took a turn when he entered high school. From someone who loves numbers and equations, his sister inspired him to change his perspective. During high school, sa akong fourth year, that na nag-change akong nga perspective sa life. And anti ang magulang ko, amugin na sa nagpa-change. Which nga, biskang gusto ko maging engineer, it changed to be a teacher. Because ay, yung, uh, makita ko yung perseverance, yung mga determination sa life, kag yung uh, actions, most especially. With his success since his early years, Roland's decision to enroll at BCC goes beyond having a grant. He believes that the institution radiates the city's thrust for excellent learning. I believe that BCC can provide quality education. They say that Bacolod can provide quality education for those poor but deserving students. Among all institutions here in Bacolod, I chose Bacolod City College because I know that I can't be able to do Roland was under the Bacolod City Scholarship Program since his first year in college. It was through his exemplary high school credentials that he was able to make the cut, but he also admitted that being financially challenged is also a reason for his application in the program. Mm, tungod lang sa economic status and the struggle may kaya mo. I get denied the fact that we struggle kami. And I think, tungod sa economic status, sa muna na, na, nakakuha ko scholarship and BCC. Da kong ginabulik sa BCC. And through the scholarships ang PESO, it became a bridge sa paglabot sa akong dream sa life. Aside from being a scholar, Roland is also a leader. So from second year, I entered SSG. BCC SSG, I'm a Supreme Student Government, and I was elected as board member. And from third year, I became their vice governor, some department. And this year, some fourth year, I was elected nga naging said president sa among school. He was also lucky in representing BCC in several out of school events and seminars, with a number of citations in and out of the halls of BCC. Roland's feet remains to be firm on the ground but his eyes are fixed above to reach his dreams. Humility really counts. Kay, I really don't know kung sa'yo ko tinikal eh, and wala ko ibuga. I think uh, being humble is really enough to reach your dream. Kay, anon ko maging proud ko and I know maging proud ko, may ning individuals may mag-brag sa akong pagpanaog. And if you stay humble, being a scholar is not as easy as it sounds. According to Roland, there were times where money is limited and he had to balance his personal and family life with his studies. All of these, however, gave him the strength to pursue his dreams. Today, Roland is not just a somebody, but an example to other students.